Hey guys, welcome to my channel Zigmodo. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna see quite a few exciting stuff. Uh, first, how uh, to remove the air filter and its holder, as well as the air box completely, and uh, finally the carb. So, quite a bit of things to do. Uh, so, let's get started. So, I actually decided to remove the tank, which was basically bolted simply right here. Uh, it's holding on the air and uh, the only thing you need to remove is that little that little thing, uh, that little tube um, you just need to uh, loosen up and then uh, just lift a little bit the tank and pull this this way uh, back um, the other way is not working well, I tried um, and uh, make sure you put like some sort of rug that absorb if there's any gas coming out of here I want to show you, I did put uh, a little bit of gas in a pan uh, to check it and uh, I don't know if you see but all of those particles are actually rust from the gas tank so it tells you how much, how bad uh, this could have gone if I was able to start it uh, so I'm gonna definitely take care of the tank So after the fuel tank um, I actually decided to remove the air filter, it's pretty bad anyway and uh, it's the entire piece so it's gonna come with the cover, the filter which you can see the black part here and then the holder which I also will removed and uh, the idea is to remove part of the air box uh, which is not necessarily needed and uh, we put some velocity stacks on the carbs um, better, better airflow and probably gonna improve the, the performance while still waiting for, uh, I'm still waiting for the tool to remove the spark plugs that are so deep in there, and some on the front part, and um, uh, I'm also waiting for the starter solenoid that connects right here and then to the battery. Um, this thing was not working; um, it wasn't even clicking or anything. I tested it, and it's actually sitting right about here. So this is this is what I'm talking about. This is a star cylinder, and uh, so I ordered the OEM one um, to replace it, and uh, waiting for it. So it might take a couple of couple of days more, and the tool for the sparks is going to take a, probably a couple of weeks, um, based on uh, based on what I could read on my order. So in the meantime, getting started on this. So I just removed the cover, just a simple bolt right here, but simp that's it. But you can see this thing is filthy as hell, oh my god, this is, this is really bad, really bad. So I'm gonna remove those three bolts, seems like it's the only thing clear. And uh, then I will remove the cover, uh, the holder, just behind basically. So after removing the, uh, the three point bar that I was just top of this um, you just need to pop the filter right off and you can see this is bad, bad, bad uh, so you just pop that off and uh, I think there is just those two bolts right here that are just need to be removed and I'm good to go so just those two bolts right here uh, this is 10 millimeter most of the stuff you're gonna use on that bike is gonna be 8, 10 and I believe it's 12 or 13 uh, that's just like a simple but no people. Um, everything else is 8 or 10. There you go, just that little walls here. This is, this is heavy, oh my god. This is just plastic? This is, <laughs> I, I'm actually interested to know how much it weights. So, this is just the holder. It doesn't have the filter, it doesn't have the filter cover, it doesn't have the filter holder uh, just after it. Uh, this is already over one pound. This is, this is crazy. Um, so this is definitely out of this bag. <laughs> uh, but if you uh, need it, just let me know. So, um, next step is gonna actually be removing the major part of the air box. It's gonna clean up all of this which is going to make also my life easier in order to access the uh, carbs. Um, there is also the plate for um, the older, for the um, stock air box. So I'm going to actually remove these two bolts, remove that plate because I don't need it anymore and uh, go from there. Just 
plate, two bolts, simple as that. So I'm going to start with uh, this little white box, there's one bolt here, um, I'm going to start removing this so I can actually access through here, uh, it should be a lot easier. Checked, I just need basically to remove uh, some of the hoses that are connected and uh, I will deal with the rest after basically. Um, so there is a two small ones connected to the cards, one on this side and one on the other side. So that big part should come right off. Yep. There you go. So one color ear, one ear, just a simple screw on bolts. Simple as that. It's not too bad. Um, the box is pretty much moving now. The only thing is uh, another color on the carbs. Second holes because this is a dual card, so if you have a single card, I think you're pretty much done already. It's probably set up a little bit differently. It should come right off. Yeah. Just, you need to be patient and not go crazy pushing it too much. What I was talking about is this is just connected like this, and the problem is you can see I was able to remove it completely without doing anything because it's completely I don't know I wouldn't say dead but burnt or just used so much. So now we have full view on the carbs and just the outside part of the carbs extremely extremely bad in terms of dirt and everything. So there's some work to do. Um, I'm not sure what happened on the top of the head of the cylinder. Something rubbed and so much made a mark. Well, I'll fix it. But so I'm gonna try to remove the carbs. Remember, this is a dual carb, so two carbs. So it's a lot bigger than the, like I think it's 1999 and the newer or one carb. So the one carb is gonna be most likely right here on the right. Which you just need to remove the air box, which we on our side we already did. And uh, as soon as you remove that, it's gonna be a lot easier to access. Um, always remove the tank anyway. Um, I don't know if I, with the tank on, there's not much you can do. Uh, it's pretty simple anyway uh, to remove. Just one bolt, one bolt. Um, so I'm gonna try to remove that. I uh, loosen up every um, every uh, clamps. That are on the holes so hopefully it works and go from there. This is the carb, and I don't know if you can see how dirty inside is. Size could be better, but it's extremely dirty right now. All right, guys, I just received new uh, starter solenoid. This is the old one, uh, so you just have the connection and then the 30 amp. I already installed it here, so it's all back to here. So we're gonna give you a try. Um, I don't have the carbs on there, so I just want to see if it even cranks. So I'm going to see first. And let's see. Still not. Let's see if it even start. I mean, cranks. Oh, that's good. Hey, <laughs> yes. So. Um, so that was definitely the issue. So if you guys 
I have the same type of issue. Give it a test. There is a bunch of videos online that tell you how to test it with a multimeter. Uh, that's going to be pretty easy to do. And uh, you can also test it with the battery. Just remove the battery, test it with the battery. That's what I did just to verify. And this thing didn't even click. So um, that's a, why I made the decision, decision to change this. Guys, I'm so excited. Uh, this is actually now cranking. This is good, good uh, improvement on this bike. Because uh, when I got it, got it uh, not even a crank was uh, a little bit scary because uh, there's a lot of things that could potentially be not working, not just one thing. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, definitely a lot of work done on the bike. Uh, being able to crank it is a huge improvement. Uh, we still have to take care of the tank and the carbs. So that's going to be two major uh, work. Uh, probably a couple of videos on that uh, as it's going to take quite some time. And I want to show you the entire process as I'm doing it. Uh, so if you want to stay tuned for the next video, please click uh, down below the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free also to leave them down below. I'll see you in the next video.